welcome back to the channel. We are traveling up to Albany, New York to pick up a ZL1 Camaro. Alex caught wind of this car, talked to the owner, got the basic details, got a price, and it was worth it for me to hop in the truck as soon as I could. Gentleman, you know, told us that he's got the car, the car runs, it doesn't leak, it's wrecked pretty badly. We're gonna get up here and we're gonna take a look at it and see what we got. The scrapyard that we take all of our chassis to, they crush them up into little cubes. This thing, they have whole cars on the back of. How many cars can we ID here? That's like an S10 truck on the bottom. I think that's like an Escort on top of it. Another Ford Escape, that's kind of cheating. Subaru on top, another Subaru, I think there's two Outbacks. That bottom one, I think is a Jetta. Actually looked like the goldish looking one was a, uh, like a LeSabre or something like that. See how many you picked out, put it down in the comment section below. Merge onto I-787 North toward downtown Albany. Check out these old time traffic signals. One hanging right in the middle of the intersection. That's awesome. The destination is on your right. Alrighty. We have arrived and here it is. I'm gonna tell the story on this thing real quick. It is a, a local person and what happened is it was involved in an accident. You know, who's at fault and all that is, is kind of not determined. Somebody merged into somebody else's lane. Looks like speed was maybe involved. The owner of the vehicle was just absolutely devastated when the car got wrecked. They uh, essentially basically couldn't bring themselves to look at the car again, more or less. The car got towed here, has been sitting, basically abandoned. The tow yard essentially ended up just taking ownership of the car directly from the owner of it, not as a mechanics lien or anything like that. They just offered to buy the car. They came to an agreement. So they went ahead and said, hey, we're gonna reach out to Lee C Parts and see if we can work out a deal on the car. And I am very glad that we did. Obviously a very heavy impact on this car. The more I go around this, the more I like what I see because I was unaware that this car is very nicely modified. We have some very nice additions as far as cooling goes, full exhaust, intake. What they also did tell me is that this has a nice cam in it. And then you'll see the, the uh, guardrail just buckles right in after that, where alternate seven dumps on the 787. Yeah. That's right. was just about to climb into this thing and notice that this thing, even though it has one blown bag, has Recaro's, which is absolutely awesome and a nice addition. Really a very, very nice car overall that got in an unfortunate accident, but we need to get into this thing and go ahead, fire it up and hear it run before we get it loaded on the trailer. that they reached out to us on this car because there's tons of great parts still in this car great mods on it sounds like a very healthy motor obviously we'll get it back to the shop we'll leak it down and we'll see what it comes back with but lsa stuff is always super in demand let's go ahead let's get this thing winched up onto the trailer here and let's go ahead and get headed back to maryland I wish I had somebody to film here because to get this thing square onto the trailer is just a task. I have my jack, I borrowed a jack from them. I think we finally got the back end square and finally moved over. It was on this nice little crest here so it was hard to pull it, but I think we're ready to keep winching here. Had to move the cable over to this side because we were pulling from that side. It was pulling the car off the trailer that direction. 
now we're going to hopefully winch it this way after jacking it. I'm never talking crap about the loaders at Copart or IAA ever again. Ever again. Round two, I thought it was hooked. Let's see if it stays on this time. Did I forget to mention that this thing doesn't have steering either? Hitting on the trailer, so we're gonna go ahead, jack this thing up. It is on the trailer. It is strapped down. Shouldn't be going anywhere. We are finally gonna hit the hit the road. I am pretty well exhausted, actually. That was quite the endeavor getting this thing up on the trailer. But we are gonna go ahead, hit the road home. Oh, well, I think I see it right there. Right there. That's where he said the car hit. Sometimes these trips just really come together. I hit up Mariano about picking up one of the wheels for the twin turbo Gallardo that we bought from them a couple months ago. If you haven't seen that video, I will put a link down in the description below. He just informed me that they just recently picked up a new addition to the garage. He won't tell me what it is, but we're gonna check it out here in a minute when we get there. Yeah, only in New York you see that stuff. He just showed me the key and you can probably still see the excitement on my face because this is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Man, no wonder you guys were anxious to clear up that garage spot. Man, look, this is this is company colors and everything, man. Yeah. Got that, that black, gray, and orange. Perfect. the next day we're back at the shop same rainy crap weather we're gonna go ahead and get this thing unloaded it is gonna go right in on the lift our new guy Seaver is gonna get his first taste of the supercharged Camaro Come on, man. <laughs> hey, you really shouldn't have left that thing sitting out here so much easier to unload <laughs> oh, uh, oh it, Oh, it's falling. It looks like it's falling. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> it looks pretty clean. Dude, that's way too nice for you to be driving. Way too nice. So Chris Rudnick, AKA Ricer Miata, just showed up. He's down here to pick up a LSA blower for one of his many projects. If you guys aren't subscribed to his channel already, definitely check it out. He does plenty of fun stuff. He's been down before picking up a motor for his uh, LS3 swapped Colorado. But what that means is that I lost my cameraman. So we're gonna do a little quick once over on this thing. I'm gonna try to fix that junction back there for the exhaust that popped out just to get this thing maybe sounding a little bit better. But everything uh, underneath here looks pretty good. It is as it was described. This looks like stainless works exhaust. Oh, it's actually totally, totally shredded. Well, that's unfortunate. If that's the case, then it's probably not worth fixing that header junction because it's just gonna have another exhaust leak further back. So that kind of sucks, but oh well. Little bit of damage to the diff. It does have lowering springs. Man, look at that. Axle's just completely trashed. One on this side looks like it survived, but oh man, look at the subframe totally bent up. Yeah, this thing definitely went for a wild, wild ride. Everybody's coming to hang out at Lisey Parts today. Hello guys.
This is Seaver, everybody. He is new to the team. Man of few words, but man, can he turn wrenches? Wait, is the is the barrel completely? Wow. Hey. Hey. Rim. What is that? Rim. It's a wheel. It's a rim. It's a wheel. That's a barrel. Yeah. And that's a rim. I lost my fucking mind because people were calling the full wheel a rim. Oh, yeah, no, it's a Which wheel. is like a whole internet thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's no, like I our most popular wheel. TikTok. I think when I was younger, I called them rims. Yeah. Well, because you were, you were young and naive. Yeah. And now you <laughs> it's a nice rim, though. Yeah, it is a yeah. nice rim. <laughs> <laughs> Very, very nice. DSS of one piece of aluminum drive shaft. And the whole nine yards. Are you gonna start this as a roller? I mean, a uh, complete? Yep. Steph from Mata Fame was in the house this past weekend also. We have his C5 on the lift. If you guys haven't checked out the build series on this car, both on his channel and ours, be sure to check it out. It was definitely a fun one. But we are here to wrap this video up. We have the leak down results first thing this morning. And this is a very, very healthy LSA motor. So that is an awesome, awesome thing to walk into first thing Monday morning. We know that this is extremely healthy as well as all the mods that we got off of it. This is definitely a home run type car. With that being said, you all know what's next. This thing is picked clean. It is headed off to the scrap yard where it is gonna get crushed and turned into soda cans. We have tons of fun stuff going on over the past couple weeks. Some of those videos have already dropped. You've seen some little teasers in this one. But plenty of great stuff to stay tuned for. If you guys like this video, be sure to give us a like, comment down in the comment section, tell us what you enjoyed, tell us maybe what we can improve on. We always enjoy the interaction with everybody. And as always, we appreciate all the support. Thanks everybody for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video.